Brady's last start was on Friday. The Royals won that game 2-1, and he gave up a walk in the first inning, a solo home run in the second, and then he retired 15 in a row and 16 of the last 17 White Sox hitters. This will be a good test for him. This, this uh, Astros team is a good hitting team, no doubt. He knows that. Altuve rips it down the left field line, hooking toward the corner, and that is down fair by about six or seven feet. One hops off the wall. Altuve in the second with a first pitch double. Well, he's been a double machine so far this year, getting off to a tremendous start to the season for the Astros. RBI spot right away for Jordan Alvarez. Here's the pitch. Slider swung on and missed. Strike three. Singer put it down and in, and Alvarez couldn't catch up. Kyle Tucker draws a walk and puts runners on first and second with one out for Alex Bregman. Here's another 3-2. Hit on the ground towards second base. Lofton's got it. Backhand flip to Witt. He covers second. Throw to first in time. Double play. Exactly what Brady Singer and the Royals were looking for. That double play ends the inning. Hunter Brown by count last season after he started the at-bat with the first pitch strike. Batting average at 214. The opponent slug at 361 and a great job of getting the swing and miss, getting ahead in counts. If he falls behind early, you lose the strikeouts and the opponent slug a little bit better. He's beautiful swing. Yeah, pretty. Didn't try to do too much. Brings up Bobby Witt Jr. Garcia has two stolen bases in the series. Back to the middle and into center field. Garcia turns, and there he goes to third. Here comes Dubon's throw. It's going to be late, and Jr. goes into second base. Pressure right away applying pressure. Bobby Wood Jr. loves to stay in the middle of the field with his swing. The Royals have two minutes scoring position with nobody out. Vinny Pasquantino at the plate. A career high five RBIs for Vinny last night. Breaking ball smack back up the middle. Base hit into center field. Garcia is in to score. Wynn races around third. He comes to home like a blur. Two run single. Vinny Pasquantino. Three batters into the bottom of the first. The Royals have a two nothing lead. Brings up MJ Melendez with the runner on first and one out. And that's up the right field line and down into the corner. Vinny will stop at third. Melendez has a double. And the Royals have two more in scoring position with one out. And the Royals put runners on second and third with only one out. I know you highlighted that Velasquez is two for two with two home runs off this guy. Breaking ball slapped softly toward right field. Drops in, base hit. Pasquantino's in to score standing. Wilson holds Melendez at third. And Velasquez on the throw all the way home advances to second. It's the fifth hit of the inning for the Royals. And it's 3-0 in the bottom of the first. Nick Lofton comes to the plate. First pitch. Breaking ball bounced softly back of the middle. Pass the drawn in infield. Base hit in the center. Melendez scores. Here comes Velasquez motoring around third. He crosses standing. Two run single. Nick Lofton. It's a Royals hit parade in the bottom of the first. Five nothing. Well, the Royals have just been passing the baton in this inning. Five singles and a double. Runner on first. One out for Freddie Fermin. Three two. Ground ball left side, past the dive of Bregman, and that's in the left field for another Kansas City hit. Down to second goes Lofton. And the Royals now with seven hits out of eight batters that have come to the plate. Nick Lofton over to third, and Freddie Fermin over to second. And Michael Garcia bats for the second time in the bottom of the first. Base hit, center field. That is a seven-run bottom of the first inning. So Brown has got to be talking to himself now. He's got to be saying, are you kidding me? I've got to make some adjustments. Too many hanging breaking balls, too many pitches out over the middle to a red-hot team. They've scored seven runs in a single inning for the second straight game. Here's Bobby Witt Jr. with two outs and Garcia at first. He singled and scored earlier in the inning. Jr. gets it up into the wind. Deep right field. Gone! And the Royals hang a nine the scoreboard in the first inning. Boy, rough going for the Astros here in Kansas City. This is a series they'll want to forget. Boy, some kind of keep the line moving, I'll say. First pitch to Vinny Pasquantino. Fastball sliced toward shallow left. That's a base hit. The 10th hit of the game for the Royals. It is still the bottom of the first. Everything that Hunter Brown is throwing, the Royals are putting a barrel on. Now it's Salvi's turn with a runner on first and two outs. And he gets another hit. <laughs> Nine runs, 11 hits in the bottom of the first inning. Well, in a really difficult spot for Joe Espada, you mentioned and touched on it, Robert, how taxed the bullpen's been. The Hunter Brown, one of your young phenoms. A lot of pitches, bad results, frankly. 
Three two. Here it comes. In the dirt ball four. Bases loaded. Here comes Joe Espada for the second time on this road trip. An Astro starter doesn't make it out of the first inning. The bases loaded in two outs. Three two pitch and this inning thankfully comes to a close. But that was some ugliness. Eleven hits nine runs. The Royals send 15 men to the plate in the first. Victor Caratini a switch hitter bats with two on one out. Got him with a high fastball. Two down. Yeah. Singer. That four seam fastball working. Brings up Mauricio Dubon, number nine hitter in the Astros lineup. This one towards the middle, and Mauricio Dubon has a chance to get the Astros on the board. No, being held at third is John Singleton, so the bases will remain loaded as Dubon shot that through the middle. So the Astros will have the bases filled for Jose Altuve. Altuve grounds it towards short. Witt scoops it up, slings to second the short way. Lofton covers the bag. He's there in time, and that ends the inning. Brady Singer strands the bases loaded in the top of the second. Yiner Diaz will lead things off for the Astros. Diaz is the designated hitter today. Yiner gets into one to left field. Will this go through the wind? Yes, it does. Wow. Into the fountain area in left field. Yiner cleared the wind, cleared the fence, and cleared the stands. For the Astros' first run of the game. That was a bomb to left. Are you kidding me right now? I think between the two of us, we had no idea if anybody was going to even be able to reach the fence, and he goes up over the stands into the fountain. Back to back fly ball outs after the leadoff homer in this inning. So two down, nobody on for Victor Caratini. 1 1. Breaking ball grounded by the mound. It's Bobby colliding with the second baseman Lofton. He still throws the batter runner out at first base as he and Lofton came together. Somehow. Bobby Witt Jr. gets an out on that play. Of course he did. The athleticism by Jr. gets kicked in the head by a second baseman. Had, they, had the, the focus to get the out in front of him. That's a laugher. Here's the one-two. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Went down and away with a slider. And Dubon was backing out of the batter's box as he was swinging. The one-two. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Slider in the dirt. Tucker chased it. Four Ks for Singer. Trying to bring up Alex Bregman. Lofton wants it, and he's got it. Now it's Mauricio Dubon, one for two with a single and a strikeout. Nine to one Royals in the top of the six. Once again, two men in scoring position for the Astros. They've had a lot of opportunities. Dubon's going to have himself one, maybe two runs batted in. They're going to hold up the runner at third base. It looked like Caratini was going to score easily, but they're just going one run at a time. At this point, it's now nine to two. And the Astros have loaded the bases with two out. Now it's Alvarez. He is 0 for 3 today. But no chance for him to swing there. Bases loaded. Walk will force it a run. And now it's 9 to 3. Dubon goes to third. Altuve to second. Alvarez at first. Kyle Tucker, the eighth man to bat in the inning. He is 0 for 2 today with a walk. Here's the next one. Swing. Fly ball. Left field. Back goes Velasquez. Still going. The wind holds it up maybe a little bit. He makes the play for the out. So good job, Sarah, but a strand three. Bobby Wood Jr., then he passed Quintino. Salvador Perez will face right-hander Rafael Montero. And a swing and an opposite field line drive. Base hit for Bobby. He's going to make the turn at first. He put on the brakes after starting to kind of go into a little burst right after touching the first base bag. And then he quickly put on the brakes. And that will bring Vinny Pasquantino, who was last night's offensive star. And then he's had a nice day today as well. He's running. The pitch is low, and the throw ends up in center field. And it's another RBI opportunity for Vinny. Swing and a liner down the right field line. That's in for a hit. It'll go all the way to the corner. Bobby Witt just jogs in from third base to score the 10th Royals run. Vinny's at second with an RBI double, his third RBI of the day in his eighth RBI over the last two days. And the Royals have 10. They're up 10-3 now. He is firecracker hot. So two outs in the inning, and that will bring Bobby Witt Jr. to the plate for a fifth time. Bobby, a three-hit day. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep right center. Their center fielder's back. He's looking up, and that ball's out of here. An opposite field three run homer for Bobby Witt Jr. 13 to 3 KC. A two home run day for Bobby. A four hit day. And it's all Royals on this Thursday 13 to 3. The Royals are now an out away from securing the sweep. 
First pitch to Pena, and he pops it up. First base side, foul ground. Vermeen races over. Melendez comes in. Melendez makes the catch, and that's the ball game. The Red Hot Royals keep on rolling. They sweep the Astros, win a seventh straight game, and finish off a perfect homestand.